We're back with another Katie Kids Club and a local middle schooler is paving the way for other girls on the wrestling mat competing on a national level at just 12 years old. I'm joined by Mimi Skoronsky to talk about her achievements in the sport and you even brought your medals along with you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you have here. I have a first place medal or two first place medals. One is um, for one of the styles in the, that we wrestled in the national and it was freestyle and the other one is Greco-Roman so our team took first in both and yeah so tell me about going to nationals what was this like it was the USA wrestling national dual championship is that right yeah and so what was your team what did your team consist of so the, it consists of 13 girls and there's 13 different weight classes and our team had every single weight class wow. filled. so you would go against other teams and go against the girl at your weight class and like to win, it would give you team points, and whoever had the most team points at the end would go on to the next duel after winning that one. You know, I'm just seeing some of the pictures here, and what a great team you have. I can also see there, it looks like there were other teams with some of the boys wrestlers as well, is that right? Was this like a big combination? So, we just, there was also a boys side, but the girls wrestled the girls and the boys would wrestle the boys. How do you feel about um, girls wrestling now? Because it's grown so much even since the time you joined. Yeah, I think it's really great, especially now that they have sanctioned it. Right. And it can like open eyes of other girls who would want to try because it was a really good change in my life. Yeah, and you were even saying, you know, when you first started, it was just you. You were the only girl on the team, and now there's more and more joining. Yeah. Do you feel like you, you joining and jumping in was kind of the catalyst that got other people involved? Other girls saw you doing it? I know, I know it helped because I've had girls come up to me telling me that they have joined because of me, and I think that's it's really a good thing. Yeah. You, it's not only wrestling too. I mean, you are making advancements too with football. Mm -hmm. You, how long have you been playing football? Five years, I think, going into my sixth. And you play with what team? Seneca Valley. And you're going into seventh grade. I asked you what it was like to play football with the guys, and what did you say to me? I said it was just like playing football because I've never really played with a girls' team, so it was just football. It's just football to you. Yeah. I love hearing that because it. It just simplifies something that seems to be complicated for some reason. It shouldn't be complicated. You just love the sport, yeah. right? And you just want to play. Um, you're all about to promoting other female athletes joining, right? Yeah. So what is that like for you? Why do you why do you believe in that so much? Because when I joined the sport, I know that some like later on some girls would join and they could have felt left out being like they're the only girl in the room or one of the few. And I know like maybe like sometimes like a boy wouldn't want to be a girl's partner and it's all so like the more girls that join the better and like they could feel included in the sport did you ever face anything like that i have um sometimes boys like don't want to be my partner if i'd want to partner up with them but now that i've i'm so familiar with my team and everything it's not a problem why do you think that is why do you think maybe because they've gotten to know me better and because i've gotten pretty good so I can be <laughs> a good partner for them yeah um, you were also in a dick sporting goods commercial which was so cool and it was all about female empowerment I think we have it here and there you are at the end jumping up and yeah. down what was it like to see yourself in that and this was all about like inclusion and encouraging more girls and women to mm -hmm. be involved it was really a cool experience and when I'm jumping around, you can, I, I have some of my actual teammates in yeah. the commercial with me, so it was really fun to have the experience with them, and like just going around in public places and seeing it being played was really awesome. And so what are your, what are your goals for the future here? With so I want to be a first place medalist in folk style. I've, I achieved that goal this year in freestyle. With wrestling, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And um, I got second in folk style a couple years ago, and I really want to get first. And then I'd also want to get back on the national team and be undefeated in at least one of the styles, if not both. Now that uh, girls wrestling is sanctioned in the state of Pennsylvania, does this open more doors? I mean, you'll be able to compete at the state level now in, in an official way, right? Yes. And also, I think that it can help like other girls see that it is officially a sport. Yeah. So that I know some sometimes if I'm trying to get 
um, maybe one of my friends or a younger girl to try to wrestle, they'll be, they always think that it's like a boy's sport. Yeah. Now that this girl's sport, like it's a girl's sport, it can help them and open the eyes of parents too to try to encourage them to start wrestling. You've been such a voice for this at such a young age. You even caught the attention of a senator. <laughs> Tell us about the letter you got. I, so I w was in a news article and he sent me a letter and sent me the, a laminated copy of the news article and um, like congratulating me for That's being wonderful. on Team PA. Well, congratulations to you and all the success that you've had so far. I know you are going to move mountains. Thank you for joining us, Mimi. Thank you for having me.